The quest for Noah brings us to the world of genetics. It is in our genetics that we can best answer the question of ancestry. It is our genes, our traits that are inherited sperm and egg. Not a fossil, not geography, but again, genes and traits. We have discovered our last Y chromosomal ancestor, Noah, directly in the genomes of living human beings. The Y chromosome is uniparentally inherited DNA. This means that it is passed down on one side, and in this specific case, the father's line. This means the Y chromosome is paternally inherited. It turns out that we only find one male Y chromosome. Every single male Y chromosome on the planet is nearly identical and can be traced back to a single ancestor who is Y chromosome Noah. The rate as to which the Y chromosome changes or mutates is fast, a lot faster than the evolutionary community has ever predicted. Fathers pass on genetic mistakes or mutations to their children at the rate of one to three new mutations per generation. In light of the fact that male Y chromosomes worldwide have incredibly low genetic diversity. Again, every single male Y chromosome on the planet is nearly identical. And the mutation rate is fast in this Y chromosome. The Y chromosome must be young. There are simply not tens of thousands of years worth of DNA variation created through mutations in the Y chromosome. As a matter of fact, when we compare the Y chromosomes of humans and chimpanzee, our supposed closest cousin, the evolutionary community argues that we and chimpanzees share a recent common ancestor somewhere between six and 10 million years ago. And we supposedly split from that common ancestor. But when we compare Y chromosomes of humans and chimpanzees, we find that they are only about 35 to 40% the same. This is when we consider overall gene content, size differences, and architecture. They are nothing alike. They are highly divergent, which was a surprise to the evolutionary community, which if human evolution was true and we really do share a common ancestor with the chimpanzee, then the Y chromosome should have been a lot more similar. The evolutionary community is faced with a challenge in light of this data that contradicts their uh, viewpoint of origins and ancestry. They're going to have to account for such massive differences in the Y chromosomes between humans and chimpanzees, since they want to claim humans and chimpanzees are related through common ancestry. All of this data pro provides us with compelling evidence for a Y chromosome that is young and also perfectly consistent with the biblical model of ancestry. Our actual common ancestor probably lived as early as 5,000 to 10,000 years ago. All this shows that we are so closely related, more so than we could ever imagine. 